Hey, Transformers fans, happy Friday. It has been a beautiful week here in Rhode Island. I hope you all have enjoyed some really strange November 75 degree weather as much as we have. Um, we're certainly not complaining though because it literally snowed like two weeks ago in October, which was nuts. Um, so thanks so much for joining us today. I'm Rachel, I'm a marketer on the Transformers team and I'm joined today with another Fan First Friday newbie, Sam. <laughs> hey guys, I'm super excited to be joining you for my first Fan Friday uh, debut. As Rachel mentioned, my name is Sam and I'm thrilled to be helping out uh, on some fantastic new Studio Series product that we have to reveal for you today. Awesome. Yeah, this certainly won't be Sam's last Fan First Friday, so let's give him a warm welcome in the comments section. Today we have two new Studio Series figures to reveal in a very special Fan First Friday Triple Threat Edition, where we decided to team up with the Star Wars and Marvel team. But first, Sam, why don't you give fans a closer look at Studio Series Voyager Starscream that was just revealed last week by our fellow Australia team. All right, let's go ahead and talk about Starscream. This is an awesome new theatrical take on the character with deep rooted inspiration from his G1 design. He's constructed of all new tooling based off of his appearance in the Bumblebee film and features his iconic Null Ray Blaster along with a pair of removable ion wing cannons. Speaking of the wings, each wing actually features five points of individual articulation, allowing you to really get a lot of personality out of the character. Uh, this sample did have a little bit of a mishap on the factory floor, resulting in his cheeks being painted instead of his eyes, but not to worry as it's been corrected uh, in terms of production. Uh, but Starscream himself is gonna represent our second Cybertronian specific character uh, from the Bumblebee film, apart from our movie Cliff Jumper, which actually segues beautifully to our next figure. That is a beautiful segue, Sam. But first, let me remind fans that Starscream is available for pre-order right now on HasbroPulse.com and other major retailers. And then like Sam segued, uh, the first studio series reveal we have for you today is a character from the Transformers Bumblebee movie, and that is Deluxe. B-127. B-127 indeed. Uh, this character's designation was actually given to him, uh, bestowed upon him by Optimus Prime in the film uh, before Charlie actually names him uh, his earthbound name of Bumblebee. Um, clad in the yellow, um, really uh, armor design. I think this is really where we start to see this vehicle mode shine. Um, and a lot of that is due to uh, the Cybertronian windshield on this vehicle that actually starts to mimic some of those iconic racing stripes that Bumblebee is so classically known for. Um, but the character himself uh, actually delivers a completely new head uh, with the visor down, which is how we see Bumblebee in all of his battle scenes throughout the movie, along with his iconic blaster. Awesome. And speaking of Bumblebee, um, our favorite hero is featured in the brand new Transformers video game, which is available right now on the Nintendo Switch for the first time, Transformers Battlegrounds. This game features characters like Bumblebee, Optimus Prime, and Grimlock, so you can assemble your squad and battle for control of the AllSpark in iconic locations like Cybertron and Central City. Now, if Decepticons like Megatron, Starscream, and Soundwave are more your vibe, you can definitely check those out in the arcade for local multiplayer battles. Let's take a look at the all-new Transformers Battlegrounds with, the, with this official trailer. Autobots, prepare yourselves. Take them down for the battle ahead will determine the fate of our world. Prepare to fight! Armed and ready! When tyranny rises, good will unite against it. We shall rise to victory. Stay low. Yeah. Autobots, 
We are close to victory. I am Optimus Prime. This ends now. Transformers Battlegrounds. Available now. Awesome. So this game just launched on October 23rd, and it's available right now on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox, and PC, wherever games are sold. We know you all have been asking for some more Michael Bay figures. Don't worry, we have more. And here it is, Deluxe Dino. And this one quite possibly has to be my favorite reveal of the day. Uh, introduced to us in the Dark of the Moon, Dino brings some extra flair to the Autobots. He's fast, he's loud, he's bright red, and he's a master swordsman. Uh, we really wanted to capture some of the agility and nibbleness that this character portrays on screen uh, and really be able to deliver that through the articulation. Uh, and this figure doesn't disappoint. Uh, Dino includes two of his gauntlet blades, which can be articulated uh, in different positions, as well as removed entirely uh, from his arms for when he's taken out those dreads. Uh, but overall, um, you know, he's a very welcome addition of a bright red sports car design to the Studio Series line. Awesome. Deluxe B127 and Dino are available for pre-order starting today at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on HasbroPulse.com and other major retailers. Now for this last reveal, I'm going to need some help from the bench. So I have John Warden and Kevin from the Ghostbusters team ready to suit up and check in for a special reveal. John? Thanks, Rachel. Uh my name's John. I'm the design lead on the Ghostbusters business. I'm Kevin Evans. I'm a design manager here at Hasbro. And uh, listen, we are so excited to introduce you guys to Ectotron today. Well, more specifically, the afterlife Ectotron form. And, uh, you know, this is obviously based on the original Ectotron, John, that you designed back in 2019. I think it's only fair to have you take us through that that figure and, and remind us of, of this item here before we get into it. Thanks, Kevin. So 2019 was really an incredible year for both Transformers and Ghostbusters. It was the 35th anniversary of both of these incredible franchises. In 1984, the original Transformers G1 universe came to life on TVs everywhere. It was one of the best uh, cartoon shows of the 80s. And um, also in 1984, one of the best movies ever made, the original Ghostbusters theatrical release came to theaters in 1984. So at Hasbro, we thought to ourselves and said, what better way to bring these two universes together than at San Diego Comic-Con? And at San Diego Comic-Con in 2019, we introduced an incredible version of Optimus Prime with all new unique deco, lots of great details like an equipment rack on the top of the truck that could convert into a proton pack that the robot could wear. It even included a little ghost trap um, and lots of awesome details, an incredible package that looked like um, that looked like a proton pack that you could actually wear around the convention. But I think one of the best details about it is the back of um, Optimus Prime's trailer could open up and fit the most important vehicle of the Ghostbusters universe, and that is the Ecto-1. And when we started working on the Ecto-1, we worked with the incredible, talented team at um, Takara Tomi, the, the original masters of the Transformers universe. And these guys have 35 years of designing toys that can convert from robot to vehicle and back and forth. And we were able to work with these guys and partner with all of the great people at Sony to really bring to life all of the details of the Ecto-1, right down to the equipment rack on the on the top, to all of the great details on the bumper, and uh, right down to the awesome little license plate. You can see every every detail on this thing is, is brought to life in a cool way, and you're able to convert this guy into a brand new character, Ectotron. Um, when we, when we uh, brought this guy back for Afterlife, we did lots of cool updates because this is, you know, this is a vehicle that has been around for 35 years plus. So if you look at the front of it, it's got some really cool weathering. You know, there's lots of sort of this rust color copper weathering on the front, as well as almost like an eggshell look to it because it's, you know, it's weathered and it's a, a white car that had been sitting covered with dust for years and years and years in this mysterious new new film. 
Um, but we also, you know, astute Ghostbusters fans might realize that or notice that the equipment rack is, is slightly different as well. You can see the ladder is actually on the other side here. We've got um, other details on this thing that, that are a nice surprise for fans to notice. And I think one of my favorite things that we are bringing back is, is honestly no Ghostbusters item could be complete without this little guy, the little green menace Slimer. So we were including a little uh, clear green version of him, which, you know, Transformers fans might notice the port on the bottom actually allows this guy to double as a, as a blast effect. So you're able to um, fire blast that you can place onto other um, Transformers toys in your, in your collection. But then here's my favorite part. The little uh, famous blue tardigrade from the, uh, from the new Ghostbusters film, this little ghost, I'm talking about Muncher. <laughs> you know, Kevin, I love this guy. He's really hilarious. Yeah, you're very, very astute of you, John. You're a biology minor there or something with the tardigrade, <laughs> or otherwise known as a water bear. Uh, but yeah, he's he's got a bit of that influence. He's he's super cool. There's, you know, after seeing him in the trailer, there's a ton of excitement around him. And, you know, speaking of excitement, as you know, as we kicked off this partnership and, we, and the the first teaser trailer rolled in, we got so excited about the fact that the Ecto one was back. You know, when we first saw that cover lift off of it in the barn in that first trailer, we knew it was going to be really a cornerstone of, of how we're messaging this this new uh, installment of the franchise and really wanted to make Ecto-1 a big part of, of our line and the offering. And of course, really excited to reintroduce in a new way Ectotron. So for our Afterlife Ectotron, John, yeah, you called out all the uh, all the details there of how we align this with how we see it in the Afterlife film. But it stands to reason that if the Ecto-1 has gone through 35 years of weathering and digs and dents and rust and, and even some upgrades for ghost busting, well, it makes sense that Ectotron would have done that too. So I want to take you through some of the details on uh, what we did to uh, Ectotron in his, in his bot mode here. And uh, you'll notice he's got an updated uh, paint scheme, especially on his torso here. You got a little bit of the, the silver up here in his chest and in his belt. He looks a little different. And uh, yeah, I think having that like slightly off uh, white color on him makes a difference as well. But the biggest thing here is we sculpted actually and tooled a whole new head for Ectotron. I think the first thing you'll notice here is his Ecto goggles, where they used to rest up on his forehead, are now down over his eyes. He's he's uh, he's ready for battle here, um, and you can see that they they they're slightly updated in their design. And on top of that, speaking of being ready for battle here, he now has his face shield totally concealing over his mouth, and it's pretty aggressive looking. I think it gives him a really really cool look, different aesthetic altogether. And um, you know some of the other little details here to call out, even the Ghostbusters logo, as you'll notice that now has the kind of, you know, it's starting to peel a little bit. It's, uh, it, it, thank you. You do a much better job of registering with the camera, John. I'm just going to let you do it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it matches the overall kind of patina and the, the, the weathered feel of the vehicle. So we, we think it's pretty cool. Um, and there's some new ways that uh, this comes packaged too, right, John? That's right. You know, um, I love looking at this package. It really takes me back because you've got the original uh, G1 splash art back there. You know, that, that incredible space battle. And you've got a tech spec <laughs> here, which, I, which I'm a big fan of. But if you, if you really look closely at the tech spec, you'll see that um, he's got little, little goggles. Um, yeah, let me try to get it to the camera. See, after you talked up how I'm good at getting registering. There he is. <laughs> um, you can you can see Nailed that he's it. got nice. goggles on the package art too, um, and you can you can uh, decipher the code here to see his different strengths and, and clip and save and keep it keep it with your toy um, if you're you know if you're so inclined to do that. It's really cool. I I love and throwback packaging. Uh, definitely, you know, and that one's different from the original in that it's now on more of a blister card, and that was to accommodate the fact that this now comes with. A, uh, a an exclusive cover variant for for this issue of the comic. Really cool. You got Ectotron there, right front and center, with all four of the original Ghostbusters, Gozer's Tower in the background with the Decepticons. Just a, such a cool composition on this one. I love this. Definitely adding this to to the collection. And uh, you know, John, I um, you know I've been I've been working at Hasbro with for probably more years than I should admit here, and, and worked on more brands than I can remember, but. Being a huge G1 Transformers fan, 
this is my first time ever working on a Transformers item. So it's, you know, fulfilled uh, long-term goals for me. Uh, made me seem a lot cooler to my son, that's for sure. But uh, also, man, just a, a pleasure collaborating with you. You know, you've done some awesome things on this brand over the years and definitely going to leave an enduring legacy. So grateful for the opportunity, man. Thanks, Kevin. You know, uh, being able to work on a brand that brings these two great uh, universes together, not just the incredible love that we've seen from the Ghostbusters nation and all those great prop replica makers out there, and people are just passionate about this franchise, but being able to bring them together with fans of the, you know, the Cybertronian universe that spans 35 years between, um, you know, the classic G1, Beast Wars, the cinematic films, that's the kind of awesome mashups that can really only happen at Hasbro. We're able to bring together fan universes and uh, working with you really has been an, another credible mashup. So thank you. <laughs> thank you, Kevin. It's been really, really cool. Um, and you know, when I look at all that packaging, it just brings me back. And I think I reminded me of like, you know, when I would get good grades on my report card and my parents would let me go to take me to the toy store and let me pick out a transformer. Um, you know, and especially nowadays, we're all doing our part and staying put here at home. Um, it, it just makes you feel good to be able to treat yourself sometimes, something that really takes you back. And uh, if, if fans want to get that experience of kind of going back, this 2021 Transformers Ecto-1 toy will be available for pre-order starting today at 1 p.m. on Target.com. So I'll be picking it up. I'm very excited about it. And uh, I'm so happy that I had a chance to talk to all of you about this incredible item. Uh, Rachel, back to you. Thanks, John and Kevin. We love a great Transformers collaboration item. And that's all we have for you today. Thanks so much for tuning in. We're going to hand it off to Patrick and Eric on the Star Wars team for the next portion of this special edition of Fan First Friday Triple Threat. But first, don't forget to subscribe to the Hasbro Pulse YouTube channel. And don't just subscribe, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> and that's why I'm gonna invite Sam back onto these Pulse Fan First Fridays. Thanks so much, Transformers fans. See you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs>